Follow the yellow brick road. The only way to the Father. Firstly please bear in mind it is important to know that God has no gender, God is much greater than both male and female, we today say, he, him, and father out of habit and vocabulary. Likely because Jesus came as a man, but that was just the flesh the Lord chose to put on, it had to be one, either male or female, God can do what God wills. So please do not get thrown off by the argument of gender, the Lord our God is above all things. The yellow brick road is gold. Revelations 21 verse 21. Just because I was walking on the road before you does not mean you are following me as if I am your leader, just the fact that I went first then followed, you. But follow Jesus. When Jesus says he is the way the truth and the life, John 14 verse 6, he is showing you that he is more than just a man, by him saying that he is the way he is the path, or as I am calling it today. The yellow brick road. The only way to the Father. By following through with that path the end result is meeting the Father and eternal life in heaven. So by following the path that is Christ, the way path road that Jesus is, and came to show us that he and the way he lived is the only way to he, that is him, the I am, John 8 verse 58. My point being that if I was on the path first do not make that hinder you from following behind, as long as you know and trust the path that I am on. That way if I the fall off of that path, because you know the path, you will also be able to pull me back onto the path by pointing me my feet and showing me where I am standing. If I do not choose to get back on the path do not let that deter you, neither do you have to force me. You have done a good deed by showing me, but ignorance is for the Lord to deal with. We are commanded to be humble and still. Peace be still, John 16 verse 33, 2 Thessalonians 16 verse 16, Mark 4 verse 39, and many more places in the Word, both Old and New Testament. But do not follow me blindly, because although I may be on the right path I may stray, with, or without knowledge, but my judgment is my own and that is for the Lord to judge. God alone is my judge, Psalm 75 verse 7, but if you follow me your judgment may or may not be on my head but that does not mean it won't also be on your own, Obadiah 1 verse 15. Because he told me to is not an acceptable enough answer. The question is likely to be why did you not do your research? 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. The God I serve is the God of love peace and truth. That is the God I serve so that is the God I represent. Exodus 34 verse 6. There is only one God that is the God that I serve. My God commands me and all who believe in him to be humble and obedient Philippians 2 verse 8. So please do not take this to offense or feel like this in an indoctrination, I come in peace and wish and want peace for you and all of God's children. We are all children of God fallen from grace through the ancestral curse given to our ancestors Adam and Eve, Genesis 3 verses 14, 19. So we had been led to believe that we had lost the right to call ourselves God's children. Jesus came to show us that we are still God's children but being someone's child does not mean you are being a representation of your parent. By calling ourselves Christians we are claiming that we are attempting to be like the representation that God has permitted us to be like, that being Christ. But also remaining humble knowing that we are not God, and all the rights and attributes of God are His and not ours and we must not lose our place and try to be Him. In same time being disrespectful, disobedient and not humble. In realizing this and showing yourself worthy the Lord may permit you to perform miracles in his name, John 14 verse 12, 14. But you must remember that our God is a jealous God who claims that attribute to be his. And only for him, so if you forget to give him the glory and take the praise for yourself you will be at risk of punishment by the jealous one, John 34 verse 14. Disobedience was the first sin, at that time the only command was to be humble before God. The first to commit that sin was Lucifer. Isaiah 14 verse 12, 21, Lucifer Satan the devil, who then came down and possesses the serpent, one of the wisest animals on the earth Genesis 3 verse 1 Matthew 10 verse 16. To persuade Eve and Adam to commit the same sin with the same temptation desiring to be equal to God Genesis 3 verse 1 6, therefore not humbling themselves and disobeying God. As Christians we believe that Jesus is God, so therefore we feel no shame in worshipping him, and we take no offense to him saying that he is the way the truth and the life. In fact we take honor when he calls us his child, my child. By the first commandment being to humble ourselves and obey God. We must humble ourselves in realizing that the Lord God can do whatever he wills including coming to earth himself in the form of a human, born just like any other, as an infant baby. 
He came to show us that even in our sinful flesh skin and inheritance, we also have the inheritance of God that gives us the ability to resist sin and recognize the devil and his works. The difference between us and Jesus is simply that Jesus is God, and we are like Adam, because we are offsprings of Adam, but Adam is the first offspring of God, made in his own image. Making us also offsprings of God Genesis 1 verse 26. Jesus being God is able to resist the devil not only because he can recognize who the devil is, but because he created the devil himself and is greater and more powerful than the devil. We are offspring of God and not the devil, so therefore we have written on our hearts the good nature and the law of God, Romans 2 verse 12, 16. Temptation was always the devil's speciality, before he was the devil he was called Lucifer who was a beautiful majestic angel of light, Isaiah 14 verse 12. Ezekiel 28 verse 11-19, So as an angelic creation of the Lord do not feel offended if you feel attracted to the ways of sin. His motive is to purely bring you down to the realm of punishment with him because he was the first to commit sin, and be banished from heaven for all eternity, Isaiah 14 verse 12. Jesus came to show us that we still inherit the Spirit of God being the Holy Spirit. And that we can still be saved although we inherit the curse given to Adam and Eve we can break the chain through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who gives us strength. To all who read this message, peace be with you in Jesus' name, Amen. Share if you agree. Thus says the word, Mark 16 verse 15, Ezekiel 33 verse 2, Isaiah 62 verse 6, Proverbs 8 verse 34. May the good Lord bless and keep you, and your family down to the tenth and ten thousandth generations in Jesus' name. Amen.